our last tip, what we did is we looked at the side-to-side -side balance in a typical uh, clinical setting. And now we're on tip number two. Let's move into the body track here and see how I use it in my clinic. If I come in here on the body track, Christine, if you could come zone in on a big monitor. I use a big monitor in an open concept area. Uh, makes it very easy to access. You're not locked out of a room, and it, you know you can have virtually every patient on it. You can have a person or a patient doing biofeedback while you're working with another patient. It just makes it easier to have it in an open concept area. So let's look now as I stand on the body track, and you can hear me without seeing me except in the monitor up there. Um, last last segment we talked about side to side. Now what about the front to back? And imagine where your gravity line cuts through the body the ear, the shoulder, um, in critical positions to have good posture. Now what do we see a lot of our patients come in with? Uh, older guys, we'll see them coming in with what we call a posterior gravity line. If you, could, if you could take a shot at me right now. So does this look familiar? No butt, no glutes, and you come from a side angle here, Christine, and just show head forward posture. A lot of, uh, of middle-aged guys are already going this way, C posture at address. So if we focus now on our, our main monitor, if we see in that posterior gravity line, we're gonna have a lot of weight towards the heels. All right, you notice that 70, 61, 67. If we go to the monitor over here and take a look at these lines as I'm doing it, okay? So as I get into that posterior gravity line, we see the weight in towards the heels. All right, now what I do to cue a patient away from that is to talk tall spine. So if you flash back to me now, Christina, when I say tall spine, I want them to feel up and up and a little more glute activity. So now the glutes are engaged and now if we go back to the monitor, we're gonna see how I'm starting to get balanced in that front to back pattern. You see that? So if, if I fall back into a posterior gravity line, we see the numbers go that way. As I get tall in the spine, we see the cueing for a more stable front to back. We want the weight in the lace tops. That's where we want it. And we want, it, um, we want to have a sense of where that stability is in the foot, which is what we'll talk about in our next section is the, the short foot exercise. But let's, let's come back to me now and let's go right into a typical TPI screen, which we call the posterior tilt. So we go anterior, posterior, anterior, posterior, and to find neutral at address, we want to go anterior as far as we can and come halfway back neutral. Now we're in that neutral zone for the spine and all we do now is hinge down to the ball. This is critical. We're talking low back pain. You've got to work from that neutral zone with the spine. So using the body track, you can have the, the client patient player learning how to do their pelvic tilt drill and also find their, their balance points in all quadrants. It's just such a great tool. And then you can take it to the driving range and work with the pro. And now you've got a connection with the pro. Why are you even going to be there? Well, this is a good reason because you can relate from the clinical side to what that coach needs on the range as far as setup, address, posture, balance, you name it. So let's use it.